be rather busy this evening and uh, we too hope that we will be busy uh, especially when you consider that uh, on this live program we've got uh, a very vociferous and a seasoned veteran politician Dr. Rajita Senratna. Very good evening to you, Dr. Rajita. Very good evening, Faraz. Thank you very much for coming here. Are you, are you tired from yesterday? Yeah, why not? <laughs> the, would you say the, the, um, the gathering of the people yesterday, how would you describe it? Was it successful? Was it medium successful? You know, I have been involved in this demonstration from 1970s. Yeah. From the left. Uh, movement to the SLFP to the UNP mm. and this is historical in terms of uh, in terms of quantity mm. yeah it is historical because you know why when I got into the stage I saw the entire golf face of sea of it the roads are full and it was leading up to about I can't see the end of it mm. on that side what do you think about 20,000 10,000 my god no no more, lot more. yeah that was in lakhs okay that was in lakhs mm. and also the other side because mm. we were marching from one um, demonstration is coming uh, from Vihara Mahadevi Park mm. along the uh, gold road mm. the other one was starting from technical college Maradana and marching uh, through uh, Petan Fort and uh, via mm, uh, this Hilton, okay. that side. Okay. So actually when we were, when we started then, when we were finishing the meeting also, still the people, uh, the people uh, ca come in procession from the Hilton side, mm -hmm. right? So therefore, you know the entire area from the, that side toward the, the, uh, the Galadari side, mm -hmm up to the other side, the quality okay. side, entire area is sea of heads. Sea of heads. Now then, our Sri Lanka, some of the headlines from around the world included these, these headlines. Sri Lanka's protesters demand president resigns over economic crisis. Sri Lanka reverses course, seeks IMF support. Power cuts have hit all walks of life in Sri Lanka. Foreign exchange reserves fall. Governor Cabral maintains positivity. Sri Lankan president says no power cuts after the 5th of March. But as we all know, even yesterday, even this morning, there were power cuts. Certainly there was in Mount Lavinia. Therefore, I put it to you, uh, Dr. Rajita Senratna, was this a protest? Was this protest against the presidency of President Gotabe, or was it a, a, a turnout in support of Sajid Premadas and the SJB? No, it was a protest against the government mm. and especially the president. Mm -hmm. It was a protest uh, rally right Prote to protest uh, the government so actually the people were very militant mm -hmm. and they were ready even uh, the government uh, barricaded they were ready to you know remove the barricades and to march forward mm -hmm. and, uh, yesterday if the government tried n nobody could have prevented us uh, you know marching because because the people's city. frustration the anger was so much so much of because mm. I have never seen such a militant uh, gathering in my entire political career mm. because they were m m more than militant, they were so frustrated and they were so, uh, you know, furious against the government mm. and they were ready to do anything. What mm. we demand, they, they, could have, they should have done anything yesterday. And uh, <coughs> thank you very much for your questions. Uh, we're delighted to entertain your questions as always here on Newsline Live. And uh, here's one. In this current situation, protests should be wave after wave. Restricting to one protest is not going to be effective. The momentum must increase. What do you say? Because, um, it's very correct. Even today, we had a meeting at 11.30 in the morning and it uh, lasted about two, three hours. That is where 
actually be decided, the SJB decided to have another protest very soon. Mm -hmm. So right by end of March, we are going to have another one. It may be a march from down south or from Kandy and many more protests we have planned. How are you, how are you paying for these things? How, what about the transport? Transport means actually most of our people, the people who could afford the, uh, the cost, uh, actually they paid. Mm. But the, uh, the uh, organizers who were not that uh, financially, uh, you know, able. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, so they, for them, we helped, the party helped. Mm -hmm. then it, and, and you settled the bills? Yeah, definitely. Because yeah. otherwise, you know, yeah. when, when the government changes, they might have you behind bars for not no, paying no, the bill? No, no, no. We have all, all we have settled the bills. Actually, mm. we have paid, the, that was the private sector buses mm. we have uh, taken. So we have uh, paid and we have helped them for uh, meals also in some places mm. like that. Now then, <coughs> what is, what's the driving force? Why, why the people, surely they've got better things to do than come on the, on the streets. So what drives them? Why have they come there? I think uh, you should have asked the question the other way. Right. Uh, why not the people don't um, um, uh, come to the, uh, the, to the streets? Mm. Actually, this is not enough. To my uh, assumption, uh, this is not enough. But are the people frightened? No, they were not frightened at all yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, if the government tried to block our uh, procession, yeah. actually they could have uh, seen the, uh, the reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> now even uh, the our MP Chatura when he got onto the gates and uh, uh, block, uh, protested at the temple trees entrance, mm. there were over ten thousand people like this. They uh, were collected and they came in support. Mm -hmm. So that was the mood of the people. Yeah. The people's mood is that they should go. They must go. Right, this is enough is enough and enough. But they have about approximately three years to go. No, I don't think that they can go. And uh, there is no way. If they go means that they, there won't be a country hmm. left. So they, ha they cannot go. Even not only three years, even, uh, even till end of the year, they cannot go. What is it with uh, these people who find the, the, the popular um, the popular feeling is against them. So what is it about such uh, politicians who they know what's in that they are unpopular and yet they stick on? What is it that m makes them want to stick on? Because, because you know now uh, the, the thing is when they come into power and when there is no resistance anybody will try to be there in mm. power. Mm. But when they see that there is resistance and continuous resistance and in every way. Now we are we have started, then the next day the JVP will come, the next day uh, Vimal and the crowd will come. They will be actually forced from different uh, sides and, and their own people will uh, start marching um, uh, against them very soon. And Dr. Rajita, out of corruption, out of mismanagement, out of simply being out of their depth yeah. in, in, in not knowing what to do uh, and the lack of the right people with the right vision, out of these which do you think is the most powerfully affecting the people and getting the people on the road? Actually most of the people, mostly the people uh, because of the cost of living, mm. the hunger, you know, lack of uh, essentials, mm. right? Now today you see now they have increased the uh, the prices of pharmaceuticals, yes. the drugs. So th how can the people afford these things? Every day the things are going up. One day the gas will go up. One day the cement will go up. One day the uh, is that because uh, the government um, floated the rupee, uh, and because that's what you all wanted. Yeah, uh, no, we wanted the, uh, the rupee to be floated from um, uh, January 2021, not mm. today. Mm. If they floated the rupee in uh, January 2021, mm. this would have not happened. Then the prices would have gone very slowly. Mm. The people would have not felt that much. Mm. But once you just go on a bump, 
uh, on the rupee. Mm. So uh, what? How, how can the people afford? Now you know when they increase the, uh, they are, they try to freeze the rupee mm. at two two hundred and three rupees, and they were printing and printing and printing it in uh, 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 trillions of uh, rupees here. So, but it was free. <coughs> but when they released, it it shot up to two hundred and thirty. When they shot up to 230, the black market price went on to 260. Hmm. Then they increased to 260. Now the market, uh, the black market price has gone to 300 rupees, a dollar. But there's no one, no one's buying because they don't have the money. Yes. Now no, but the problem is now the, the, the dollars, the actual, the foreign remittance yeah. will not come through the official channels. Mm. Right, that uh, that is in the Indian system. Mm. They will pay there and get the rupees here, so mm. the dollars won't come here because of their. Uh, Let, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're well, having conversation with uh, Dr. Rajita Senaratne, no stranger to Sri Lanka's political minefield, and uh, I thank you very much again for your questions. Several coming through, and I love this one here. Watched four minutes of the president's speech and switched to Newsline. There you go. It, the people rather watch you in. If you were the president today, I mean, I'm saying this uh, rather seriously because Sorry. you are a seasoned politician. Yeah. Uh, the presidency is not beyond your reach. It is quite plausible that you mm. may one day uh, rule Sri Lanka. But if you were the president today in this context, what would you tell the people out there? One thing, if I was the president, this situation would have never cropped up right right because i um, i uh, we were veteran politician not like gotabe rajapaksa yeah right who was a novice to politics yeah. and he doesn't know anything about politics or governance or anything mm. right uh, management or no skills at all mm. so actually if you are the president today yeah what we should what i should do first even uh, we get the presidency immediately Right, mm. we have to get the, we have to uh, discuss with the treasury, see how much of money available. Immediately, we have to actually supply goods for the uh, the their essential food items. At least five food items, essential five food items must be subside, uh, uh, subsidized with, uh, with uh, subsidy. Uh, you have to supply to the people. Mm -hmm. It may be like in India. Right now, in India, in the uh, from the through the cooperative system, they supply uh, they sell uh, a kilo of rice for two rupees for the poor, twenty rupees for the rich, like that. Mm -hmm. So somewhere uh, you have to, some way you have to uh, supply those food items. Mm -hmm. Second thing is the milk food for the uh, 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 for the children. Yeah, you have to get down the milk food and supply it uh, as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Third thing is the pharmaceuticals yeah you have to supply all the now today all the life-saving drugs are not available yeah the cancer drugs are not available so what will happen to the cancer the cancer will start spreading and the uh, patient will die very soon the you know anti-venom mm. uh, anti-venom is not there right so so many uh, life-saving drugs are not available in the country do you think that's because uh, <coughs> do you think that's because uh, if something happens to them, them, uh, they can go to go abroad for treatment, and therefore, whether there's how many people can go abroad? Well, that's that's the point, you see. Yeah. So doesn't that show a lack of? But uh, here now, I have, I have brought the health system of this country mm. to uh, actually to a uh, um, uh, very high standard, mm. where even the director general of the WHO said the health system in Sri Lanka is one of the best available in the world mm. so we have brought it like that mm. our um, infantal uh, um, uh, um, uh, infants uh, actually uh, uh, death rate yeah. and the maternal death rate came equal to USA the number one country the mm. USA and Kuwait mm. the richest countries in the world mm. right so we have brought it now today what is uh, what is the uh, actually the it is really a gone for when you go to hospital the drugs are not available, surgical items are not available, mm. so they can't do surgeries. They ask the pa patients to bring the surgical items to do their surgeries, mm. right? Blood mm. tests are not done mm. because the chemicals are not available. So they have to pay, pay for their uh, 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 blood tests. Mm. 
mm -hmm. from the private sector. Everything is for money today. Mm -hmm. There is no free health service. Mm -hmm. Right, and even in the private sector, mm. all the pharmaceuticals and other surgical devices, instruments, all have gone up the prices. I'm just getting uh, information now. A as you know, the, uh, His Excellency the President of Sri Lanka is addressing the nation. Uh, and he says here that he understands the struggles faced by the people and has taken stringent measures and would be accountable to the actions that he will take to resolve the issues. No, you can't, be, be, you just because of the president, just it is not his duty to address na the nation mm. and promise things. Just do it. Now he's the president, no? Right? If he was not the president, mm. he, if he is not the president, then he can promise so many things that he is going to do. But today is not the promises, actually, it's action. We need action. We need action. Otherwise, uh, what, wh 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 why do we need uh, have a, a president in this country? And uh, Harshana wants action. He wants a uh, break. So let's go for a break. We'll come back straight away and rejoin Dr. Rajita Sen Ratna on TV1 on Newsline Live. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukutali. This is Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with Dr. Rajita Sen Ratna. The president is speaking on the other channel. And uh, Dr. Rajita Sen Ratna, uh, a few minutes ago, President Gautabia said, I know you're facing various challenges at this time. Fuel, gas, etc. These are beyond the government's control. Really? <laughs> Why not? Now there is no gas today. Why? The gas shipments arrived yeah but there were no dollars to clear, clear it right so is that uh, anybody uh, uh, else's uh, problem that is the government problem government doesn't supply the uh, give the dollars hmm. so the banks the dollars are not available hmm. whose fault the government so because of that the go the, the ship uh, the uh, ships after 18 days they have left even now some, uh, some uh, most of the companies uh, can't open their letters of credit why? Because no dollars. Mm. So then they can, cannot import the items. So in that case, whose fault? Is it not the government? President Gotabe also just said, I have appointed a National Economic Council to help resolve these. <laughs> who, who are those National Economic Council? The, I tell the President, you please go through the Economic Council of Tamil Nadu, mm. only a state of India. Who the people, uh, the, the, the Tamil Nadu chief minister has appointed, you, must, you will be sh ashamed to see who they have appointed, right? All the scholars are from the Indians of uh, the, the American origin mm. uh, Indians and the local, all uh, uh, those highly who qualified. are yeah, um, highly qualified uh, people. But who are they here? What? Some people are eight grade qualified people, right? They know how to how, how to do business from the government money. That is all they have. They know about the economic council. The world again, uh, quoting from uh, a few minutes ago, the world is facing various challenges. Said President Gotabe, COVID in particular has taken its toll. So really, is this all because of COVID? No, what nonsense! You take the entire region of the now. What is the problem? The dollar crisis. Yeah. Now uh, in the region. You know, uh, the Bangladesh, they have increased their uh, foreign reserves to 41%, right? Mm -hmm. India have increased their foreign reserves to 39% mm -hmm. more uh, during the COVID. Mm -hmm. And up to even the Nepal, mm -hmm. uh, Maldives, 5% mm -hmm. increase. Nepal, 4% increase. Mm -hmm. All the region, uh, regional countries, they have increased their foreign reserves. Sri Lanka, our foreign reserves have come down by 79 mm. percent. So mm. why there was there no COVID in the, in the other countries? Mm. Even the budget deficit, they have uh, reduced the budget deficit. Mm. Ours, the, uh, it is widened. The dollar rate, everyone, now our dollar rate has gone up. Now today it is more, even earlier it was 12 percent. But uh, the other people about points, 0 0.34 percent, 2 percent, 3 percent, 4 percent, mm. like that. Our th over 12 percent now it must be more um, and, and so basically what you're saying is 
uh, that uh, this is not entirely the fault of COVID. Nothing to do with COVID. All other countries have improved their economy during the COVID. What, then what, what, you, what would you blame it on? Mismanagement. Lack of knowledge about governance, right? He's, uh, they, this is the worst, actually, uh, president we have ever got. And we, I don't think that we will ever get, even in the future, somebody like this. Is, uh, <clears throat> I don't know whether you want to answer this, but anyway, is Rani Wickram Singer protecting the president by suggesting a national government at this critical time? This, is, uh, this, this time is not for national government. Actually, we have to remove this government. There is no alternative to this. Or, or isn't it, is it better to have a national government encompassing all the parties, a real national so government? If all the parties are agreeable to form a national government, it's a different matter. Yeah. But otherwise, a national government with <coughs> individuals, it won't be a national government. Right. Uh, and so, um, <sighs> there are uh, li quite literally hundreds of questions here. Um, Let's take this question. Is Sri Lanka bankrupt or not? Actually speaking, economically, still not. Because even about few days back, actually it would have gone bankrupt because we had to pay uh, 900 million dollars to India. Hmm. What we took 515 um, million, uh, the trade, uh, actually uh, support from India, mm. it had now increased to 900 million. Mm. Now, by yesterday, it, it had increased to 1,200 million mm. that we have to pay by uh, in another one or two months. So, we had to pay 900 million, but we had only about 500 million in our coffers. So, we didn't, uh, we didn't have money. Mm. But India said, no harm, we will, uh, we will extend the facility mm. right and saved us india saved us so that shows that india is a true friend right some people are anti indian no uh, without knowledge, uh, any knowledge about our history or uh, the presence mm. right because of india that we are not actually officially bankrupt but right. it is bankrupt we have we don't have dollars to Fi finally uh, uh, bring down our, our essentials finally i mean finally because you know the call has been there for sri lanka to go to the imf to seek the support of the imf and finally after months and months and months the president says and he officially announces that he will go to the imf <laughs> too little too late or what For too not too late it is very much late right right we should have gone to IMF at the very beginning. What will now, happen to Mr. Cabral then? Cab will, will Cabra, they, Cabral they is the whole problem. Will they, Cab will yeah. they change him? Not change him. He must resign, no. Hmm. He is the one who advocated not to go to IMF. He is the one who, who advocated not to um, uh, float the dollar. Hmm. They, they should have floated the uh, dollar by uh, tw 2021, January. They would have decided to go to IMF at that time. Now, what you go to uh, IMF today, you will have to wait for another six months to, get, uh, uh, to bring the result. So, by that time, how can the government, uh, how can they exist? Mm. How can the people wait for, uh, uh, with this condition uh, uh, for another six months? What do you it's think, too late. <coughs> what do you think President Gotabia means when he says that he takes responsibility for the decisions he has taken and he will make, he will take certain firm decisions in the future. What, what firm decisions is available to him? I don't know what, what does he mean by firm. Now even the decision that they have taken, the, they, he has ruined the country. So by taking many more, if he feels that if the firm decisions are that, uh, that to take action against the people, we'll see. We will face. And so in this next six months, uh, can I ask you this? Uh, you know, the, the, the government con constantly, even the president has just said he's urging the people to conserve electricity and, and, uh, and so on. But we don't see the same happening at ministries. Where, where are the ministers who are telling people to turn off the AC, put only one line of uh, lights on, and so on. Well, why, Not why only the ministries, they, even the feeling about even this? the president's bungalow. If the president's uh, 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 the secretary, even I don't know whether they, they follow follow those things. 
Huh? Um, uh, now, uh, there is no electricity for the people, but the, there are enough generators at uh, his residence and his offices. So, now these are all uh, useless talks, mm -hmm. you know. You have to supply electricity rather than um, 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 actually advi advising but the people they, how to, uh, how to uh, um, save uh, electricity. Yes, but they, they, they're doing something that I, I'm going to call dumb and completely corrupt. Because they're in between not having oil for our own generators. Yeah. They're trying to get 200 megawatts of emergency generators where, where there's no oil. Yeah. There's no, we've only got the sea water and the toilet water that's flushed. Uh, around the country yeah and not only that e everything now with all these shortages the corruption is increasing day by day they are earning more and more money that is that is why we we have we we, we, we hear the about the new uh, accounts in uganda of uh, the uh, the government leaders now the thing is this now why there is no electricity the, the electricity is not there because they, they, they cannot operate all the generators available. So because there <coughs> is no hydro hydropower enough. Mm, so mm. then the, the, there is the, uh, the, the fuel power. So th there is no diesel for most of the generators. So that is the, that is the reason why there is no electricity. So you supply the diesel, then the, 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 we will get the electricity. So there's no point getting uh, the 200 megawatts of uh, emergency power because there's no oil to run them unless they're going to steal there our oil there, and there, it to there, them. there is nothing. There is no. Final question. Very quickly. Do you think we are in competent hands to tackle this complex issue? Definitely we have. We have. Right. Do you, have, do, you, do you think we have the right people now or do you need, we need to bring some other people in? No, we, are, we have enough, uh, we have our people and we, can, we may get uh, other, other people also from the government side who are uh, uh, one or two efficient fellows. So what you're saying is the SJB is competent to handle this? Definitely. It is, not, it is handling means now at the moment we are studying the situation and we are preparing our formulas. Mm. Even at any stage, if the government falls to take up and to uh, you are ready to go, uh, re ready to go to re re uh, actually we are ready to face any challenge. Thank you very much, Dr. Rajit Sen Ratna. And on the day that the president addressed the nation, we had Dr. Rajit Sen Ratna giving us his commentary. We hope you thoroughly enjoyed that. Take care. Have a great evening ahead of you. It's now time for the prime time news. God bless you all.